Senator, you just delivered a, a pretty extraordinary appeal to these grassroots activists to bring their faith to bear more in the civic process, even more than they're doing now. Uh, tell the folks with Faith and Freedom Coalition who couldn't be here today why it's so important for them to be involved. Well, first of all, we shouldn't ignore the fact that our values and largely founded in our Judeo-Christian principles uh, underline the things that made us great. But beyond that, I would just say that in the American public square, people are motivated by all kinds of things, by, by their by their preferences, by all sorts of other issues that they um, want to bring to bear on how we make public policy, our faith should be involved in that as well. Why is it that those who are motivated by their faith are asked to be quiet, but those who are motivated by something else are asked to speak up? And that doesn't make any sense to me. It runs contrary to our heritage or it's contrary to our history as a country. And I think, quite frankly, it would weaken America if we, if we were to be silent. Uh, the Senate is debating immigration reform this week. You've taken a very strong stand that our immigration policy should secure the border, enforce the rule of law, but yep. also up, up, uphold our national tradition of compassion right. for those who come here, something that we share, as you know. So uh, you and other senators are working to strengthen this bill, add yeah. tougher amendments. What, what are you doing and what do you think will happen? Well, I think the key to success is ensuring that this never happens again. This is the most compassionate people in the world, and people understand that we have 11 million human beings living in the U.S. who have done it the wrong way, and there's going to be consequences for that. On the other hand, we have to make sure that if we're going to deal with them, we also ensure that this never happens again. So I think the key to passing responsible immigration reform is to have provisions on the border, E-Verify, and other sorts of provisions that make sure that we never have another wave of illegal immigration again. Senator, we appreciate your leadership Thank you. very much. Thank Thanks you for very being much. here. Thank you, you bet.